this guy here from YCG, your casual gamer. So in this episode, we'll be working on static meshes. I'm going to teach you all to merge them with the Merge Actor tool from Unreal Engine 4, and this is what this is what it should look like at the end. Also, we're going to add simple collision to all our new asset that we built in the last episode, uh, BSP brushes. So stay tuned. Okay, so let's get started. So uh, building static mesh and merging them together. What I like about this method is that when you merge actors, they're going to remember their collisions and they're going to merge the collisions also. So you won't have to recreate collision in most of the time unless you merge uh, static meshes that had no collision to begin with. And the other thing that I like is that when you build a static mesh and you merge it, you're going to keep the props that you use to make it. Like when you saw in the last episode with the BSP brush, you don't get that. If I, if I decide to create a static mesh out of this, it's going to become a static mesh itself. So I won't have the starter prop that's still a BSP and if I want to tweak something, change something and re recreate it, I won't be able to. So you have to make sure you know what you like before you're done with the BSP brush. With the merge actor, it's not the same. Everything that you merge together is going to stay on the side and then you're going to have your new mesh inside your content browser. So now, okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to add collision because right now if I jump inside the level, press F2 because I'm blind, I can go through the door, I can go through this one, I can't jump, I, I can't get to the platform, and uh, this one too is not supposed to have collision. Ah, that, okay, yeah, I can still go through. So I can go through the, co the console. So let's remedy to that real quick. We did that in the last season, but I'm just going to show you a little variance. So with the door, and the platform is going to be super easy. You're going to go on collision. You're going to see there's no collision. Collision, add, box simplified. And since it's a, it's a square shape uh, static mesh, we're done. Save and done. Same thing with the platform. Collision, add box, and save. Now, here's a little different part. Is you see this mesh over here has more detail to it. So now if I want to add collision, a simple box might not do. If I go to box collision, you're going to see it's going to... Maybe you guys like that. If you guys like that, by all means, take it like this. But let's say you want to you wanna edit it. You can just scale it the way you want it. And just like dragging a new mesh, you'd be dragging a new static, a new collision. You could just alt-click the direction you want to go and drag a new collision and even tweak it to fit your model. So that's how I'm going to do it. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as you know it makes some kind of realistic look. Save and we're done. So now everything has collisions so now if we merge them with something it's going to work. So now let's create our first merge static mesh. So we're going to build those little lights that are on each side of the uh, door over here. So what I did for that it was pretty simple. Is I brought in a cylinder fit to 0 0.1. I think this one was 0 0.2. And this one was 0 0.2 as well. Is that it? Uh, maybe you can play a little bit with it. There we go. Like this. And then in material, I went on and brought this guy in. That was this, each side, maybe like this. And then for the top part, I brought in a cube. Same thing, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and 0 0.1. And let's just scale it to the way we want. I go like this. You're going to notice that when I, I'm creating a static mesh that I put this thing off. That way it's not snapping to the 0 0.03. It's going to let me go in the small numbers because face it, this this is really small. I'll just move it a little forward. And then we're going to copy that, bring it down. So Alt, click and drag. I like that. Bring this in a little bit. Maybe thinner. Whoop. 
this, and then there you go. Then I'm going to add a little cone underneath, just like a support. Put it to 0 0.1. I always go from small to big because when it's big, it's hard to see what you want to do with it. So I'm just going to turn it around, maybe 180, center it, and then I'm going to scale it up. Uh, sounds about right. Just bring it in. And you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. As long as it does the job, most of it is going to be in the wall anyways. So that's, what, that's what's beautiful. I mean, what happens at the vaccine and most of the games, you'd be surprised. So now let's add material to it. Do we have that over here? Metal sheet on top, and then on the bottom I'll do the rock. Now for the light in the middle, I created a new material called metal black so it's see see it like a, a neon a neon that's turned off so you're gonna see it black well in most case you're gonna see it white but let's say the glass was black so let's create that material it's really simple inside the material tab you right click on the uh, material tab and you're gonna create a new material call it metal dash black so to make uh, any material metallic is very simple. You have the metallic option over here, and also you're going to play with the roughness. The roughness is how much it's going to shine. How much does it reflect reflects light? And metallic is how much of it looks like it's metal. So we're going to go get the color black to start. So we're going to go inside vector, constant vector. So over here, like that. And there you go, you already have your black color, so just hook that to the base color. And then we're going to grab, we're going to hold one and left click two times to create constants. And we're going to drag this one here and the other one to roughness. Now to set it to met metallic, you're going to have to play with the values over here. I like 0 0.8 for metal and 0 0.3 for the roughness. And there you go, we have ourselves a black metal. Compile, save, and there you have it. <coughs> so now let's add the last cylinder. So I'm going to grab this one that's already in the scene, grab it to middle, and let's just scale it to pop out a little bit, you know, like an emergency light or something. And make sure, make sure it's nicely scale. That's good. So I'm gonna put the black middle on it. And there you go. You have yourself your light. So hold, control, and left click on all the parts, or shift click works too. And now that we have everything selected, we're gonna go in the window. Go to Developer Tool and Merge Actor. Now you're going to see over here, you can reset the pivot at zero. Don't do that because zero is not zero of the mesh. It's going to be zero of the scene. And run out of the scene, we're like high up in the sky, so the zero is going to be super low. You don't want that. So just merge the physics data at the mesh. Uh, materials. A, we used many materials, so they, they're not going to merge the materials. So you're going to be able to play with all the materials you use over here. So if you look over here, we have a material for top and bottom, a material for the cone, a material for the sides, and a material for the light. And you're going to have all these inside. So merge actor, double click on Desk Guy Factory, go inside Props, Season 2, and call it Emergency dash light or just light one and save and now this is what's nice is that now this one is not all together yet if I wanted to fit if I wanted to tweak it and change it and re merge it I could so keep that in mind if you want to keep it to the side what I do most of the times is when I like my model I'm gonna bring it up into the sky 
and like leave it outside of the scene that way if I want to change it later on I didn't lose it and I'm gonna bring in the new one that I did and send it to both sides and now if you see over here all the materials you can put to and if you go inside the editor it already has all the collisions so there you go so now I'm gonna add I'm gonna add all the static mesh to the scene so I'm gonna speed up the video so over here what I did is I just added a few uh, cubes inside and I just made them into rectangles so very simple just to add edges to it so let's say yeah maybe a little smaller 0, 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 so using that method I'm gonna populate the level real quick with you guys all right so let's get to it for blueprinting so uh, like I was saying at the beginning uh, if you you know what's nice with the uh, static mesh uh, merge actor thing is is really to bring in a little something else to your scene I mean if I wanted to uh, behind those those platforms I could put like a little square just to make it look more real let's say it, it's gliding up and down on the on the uh, wall but you don't have to but it's just a nice little addition that's really easy to do and that's why I like using the starter content for everything I mean because not everybody has the money and resources to get everything online or to buy or to pay people to make it for you so if I and and so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to help you guys to use your imagination your imagination instead of trying to do something real simple somewhere else or by someone else and when you can do it from yourself really easy so hope you enjoyed this and the next tutorial we're going to be working on the automatic lift over here that's f that's going to be fully customizable and uh, that's it so stay tuned and see you next time have a good day